going to continue proof by induction. In this proof, we're going to look at divisibility. So for this proof, we want to show by mathematical induction that 7 to the n plus 2 plus 8 to the 2n plus 1 is divisible by 57 for all non-negative integers. Now this one's going to be tricky because, as you can see, I don't have an equation. So I'm going to start the same way that I normally do. I'm going to say let p of n represent what I'm trying to show, which is that 7 to the n plus 2 plus 8 to the 2n plus 1 um, is divisible by 57. And that's for all non-negative integers. So then my basis step is, where do I start? It says all non-negative integers, which means I have to show p of 0. So p of 0 would represent 7 to the 0 plus 2 plus 8 to the 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 7 squared plus 8, which is 49 plus 8, which is 57. And 57 is divisible by 57, so I've shown that that's true. Then I have to do my inductive step, and this is where things are going to get crazy. So previously, in all of the other examples that we've done, we had some sort of an equation that we could manipulate, and that is not what we have here. So you're going to be maybe a little bit surprised at how we go about using the inductive hypothesis this time through. Let's go ahead and write the inductive hypothesis, which of course is 7 to the k plus 2 plus 8 to the 2k plus 1 is divisible by 57. And I want to show that by increasing k by 1, so this would be 7 to the k plus 1 plus 2, or 7 to the k plus 3, plus 8 to the, again, I'm increasing k by 1, so it would be 2 times k plus 1 plus 1, which of course would be 2k plus 3, because I would distribute that 2. So I'm going to write it as 2k plus 3. And I want to show that that is divisible by 57. Now, on all of the other examples that we've done, the next step was to start with the inductive hypothesis and then manipulate each side of the equation. But again, I don't have each side of an equation. So I am going to sort of start with the inductive hypothesis. I have 7. Um, k plus 2 plus 8 to the 2k plus 1. And what I want to do is I want to multiply to make them, and again, there's no equals, whatever, so this that's why this is going to get a little tricky. I'm going to take this times 7, and I'm going to take this times 8 squared. And again, why am I going to do that? Because then I get 7 times 7 to the k plus 2, which would be 7 to the k plus 3. And I would get 8 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2, so that's 8 to the 2k plus 3. So all I've done is shown that I can turn the inductive hypothesis into what I'm trying to show, but I haven't shown that that's divisible by 57. So now I'm going to do some math trickery. If instead of writing it like this, I wrote this as 7 times 7 to the k plus 2 plus, instead of 64, what if I called 64, which is 8 squared, instead of 64, what if I said 7 plus 57 times 8 to the 2k plus 1? Did I break any mathematical laws there? No, because I'm multiplying by the same thing I said I was going to multiply by. Why did I do that? Well, because now I've got 7 
that I can take out of 7k plus 2 plus I've got a 7 I can take out of this and this is actually two different things. This is 7 times 8 to the 2k plus 1 plus 57 times 8 to the 2k plus 1. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take the 7 out of this one and then I'm going to have the 57 times 8 to the 2k plus 1 left over. So hopefully you're with me so far. Now I haven't used my inductive hypothesis yet really because yes I started with it but I was just showing you that I multiplied by 7 here and by 8 here to turn it into what I'm trying to show and it's different than what I did before. So I haven't really used my inductive hypothesis yet but now I can say that this is divisible by 57 by my inductive hypothesis. And if that's divisible by 57 and this is 57 times something, then that portion is divisible by 7. So therefore I can say since 7 to the k plus 2 plus 8 to the 2k plus 1 is divisible by 57. And 57 times 8 to the 2k plus 1 is divisible by 57. Then this whole thing, 7 to the k plus 3 plus 8 to the 2k plus 3 is divisible by 57. What does that tell me? Therefore, and then basically I would restate everything that I said here. I would show that 7 to the n plus 2 plus 8 to the 2n plus 1 is divisible by 57 for all non-negative integers n. Up next we're going to take a look at the well-ordering principle and strong induction.